Hi there, I'm Aussie Villa. Welcome to episode 22 of our World Tour with Perceiver. And this is a massive week because we could be crowned league champions. We have a big game going towards that today. And of course, we have, since the last episode, been given our interzone semi-final opponent. It's East Bengal of India. So that's going to be the second game in today's episode. We're going to travel off to India and play the first leg of our, our uh, Confederation Cup semi-final. Now, nothing has happened since last episode. We've come straight back for this Perceba game. If you have a look at the league table, you'll see why this is so important. We've got a game in hand on them. We're a point behind. This is absolutely huge. Uh, anything other than defeat here, and it does put us in a relatively good position, doesn't it? Um, but there's a long way to go. Obviously, we need to go and get this result first. And of course, I said the second episode, we'll skip a couple of games and we'll come back for the East Bengal game. This is the team we're sending out. We're going with a 4-4-2. It's Seta Jair in goal. Rendika, Chavez, Ahmed, and Dembelina at the back four. Satri, Sorry, Setriadi, uh, Septian, Redian, and Tornando is a midfield four. That's a pretty strong midfield, if I don't say so myself. Cayeno and uh, Negruhu up top. Hopefully, they'll get some goals for us as well. So we can see the way they're lining up a uh, little bit defensively in midfield, but that's okay. We'll let them do that. Uh, one thing I think I do want to change is... Um, I, think, I don't think we'll counter-press. I think we might just retreat back when we lose the ball because they have a habit of hitting us on the counter-attack anyway. Um, I'm going to say... Go to the punts, they right to back you up. I don't hate that. Some calm, we have faith. Uh, and then hopefully, we have a really, really bad record against Persevere. They've played us off the park every time we've played them. So hopefully, things will go a little bit better this time. And here we go. And here we go. If they haven't been with us the whole time, I think we played them in the Super Cup at the start of the year. Uh, us as Cup winners, them as defending league champions, and they beat us 4 1. Um, we played them earlier in the season then um, at our home ground, and we lost 2-0, I think it was. So we don't have a good record against them. Um, their form recently has slipped. They look like they're going to be running away with the league title, and they have had a dip in form. So maybe signs of hope there for us in that sense. Um, I really would be very happy just to get a draw and leave, and just with the game in hand, sort of mildly hold an advantage. Here's Rendika with a throw. It's there for Septian. What can he do? Back for Rendika. Can he get a ball into the box? Go yourself, son. Go yourself, Rendika! He does He does have a threat of... Uh, he's able to run at the fence like that and get a... He's got a couple of goals this year already like that, so... <clears throat> he's definitely a threat like that. Here's another highlight. It looks as though it might be for us unless we give it away. Rendika down the line for Negrohu. There we go for Satriadi. Ah, oh, it's blocked. Uh, now, of course, Brian Caesar, of course, who refused to sign a contract with us, left in uh, mid-season in June, has gone to this team. So we really want to beat them for no other reason. We're in trouble here. This is what they do to us. They counter-attack us time and time and time again. Back post. It's, no, not Caesar. It's off the post. Eddie's put it in. Boo! Oh, that bastard. He was our, he was our left winger, for those of you who haven't been with us some of the studies. Our left winger refused to sign because we didn't have depth in midfield, according to him, despite having... Six or seven first-team midfielders. Um, and then as soon as his contract expires, he's gone running off to Persebea. Um, That's a shame, because that was a bad miss. And he got a second chance at it. Oh, uh, come on, boys. I don't... I'm trying to... We're doing everything we can to not be vulnerable to a counter-attack. We're sitting deep. We are regrouping. And that is not the best goalkeeping we've ever seen. Set to Jaya. They just... I don't know how to beat this team. They're just too good for us. Um, oh, that's really annoying from a set piece as well. Let's demand more. I mean, that that should... That should be easy. We've had a couple of chances to clear that as well. That's poor. That's just poor. All right, come on, boys. Fire up here. We're being we're absolutely horrible. Um, exploiting the middle doesn't seem to be working, so we'll get rid of that. Um, in, news on the injury front, Boaz, he's coming back from his hip injury, so he is still a few weeks away. We might see him on the bench for the East Bend goal game. Um, might, I stress that. Oh, that's a cracking effort. Chavez is there to put it away. I'm not sure sitting deep is working for us, if I'm honest. I just... I'm not sure this is working. We'll see this highlight. I'm wondering if we need to push up and then, but then sort of drop off, not not, not counter press if and when we lose the ball. Rendika back to Wayan. I'm not sure why Wayan's out there. We really want him in the middle. He's our best finisher. That's a decent one for Septian. Can Septian produce a bit of magic? Kayono back to Septian. Redian, can he turn? He's gone for Tornando. Tornando! Oh back in the game. Thank you, Tornando. Does it again. That's his eighth goal of the year from the right wing. That's not bad, is it? We're only about halfway through the year. 
So we well, must be just over halfway through the year because we're playing this mob for the second time. Um, yeah, we just kept that going. It's a nice pass from Ready and Tornando just got away from that's poor goalkeeping again, isn't it? Um, that goalkeeper has kind of given us a goal back there, but we'll take it. We are not above accepting those sorts of gifts. Um, let's give it a show some passion here. I don't know why you're looking disenchanted, Ahmed. That's, that's a bit, little bit rude. Um, so, yeah, I'm wondering, taking it off, exploit the middle resulted in a goal. I'm wondering if we should go the other extreme and exploit the flanks. Let's see, we're coming into half time here. Let's give it, oh, we won't bother. Um, you may notice too, I finally got around to downloading the badge patch, so we've got the proper badges now. I, I am slowly getting around to doing the other ones as well, the names and the kits and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's all coming, which is about time, right? I really dragged my butt on that one a little bit. Um, let's say we do expect to see something better. Um, I know Avenge would happen. Like, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I don't usually like Revenge. But I'm thinking this may be one for it. Um, we're going to go through, get some individual team talks here, guys. Then we'll come back for the second half and hopefully at least a point. One minor tactical change as well. We're going to go a little bit more direct with our passing. Um, we are sitting a little bit deep to try and counter the fact that they might counterattack us. So in order to get up the field a little bit quicker, I think we might need to go a little bit more direct with our passing on occasion. So that's what we'll look to do. Um... We'll give it a few more minutes here, and then we might try the high line and just see if that'll work for us as well. Oh, boo. Um, that's easy enough for Chavez. Good stuff. Can we build from the back here? A little bit more direct. I mean, that's not a bad thing because we do have a little bit of pace up top. We just need Cayeno to be on his toes there and actually chasing that down. Come on, boys. Let's keep our shape here. They've gone long again. Oh, again, they found Brian Caesar in space. I'm wondering if we need to be. Oh. I wonder if we need to be a, defending a little bit higher up and a little bit wider, maybe. Let's go the high line. Let's maybe not that high. That might be suicidal high. Let's go there. I just, I really am struggling to beat this team. I don't. It's not very often, I'll be honest, without trying to make myself, or sort of big myself up too much. It's not too often that I'm just absolutely bamboozled about how to beat a team. And I don't know how to beat this team. If we sit deep, they do this to us. If we push up, they just go over, they go more direct and they, and they beat us that way. I really, really do not know how to beat this team. Um, Satajaya, uh, not Satajaya, what's his name here? Um, Satriati's not happy. He's having a very poor game, actually. Um, let's... We're not playing well. None of us are playing well. I'm going to give it... Do I give it a... Go demand more. Ariyama is looking disenchanted. He's not playing well. We're going to have to start making changes here, I think. So we'll bring Lacornu on for him. We don't... We don't need that. That's not, not what we're about. I'm going to... You know what we're going to try and do? Oh, I'd like to diamond up midfield. If I do that, that means we have to take... Ready and Septian can't play. Um, I have an idea. You know what we might do? Our wide players... I mean, Tornando's playing okay, but they're not playing particularly well anyway. We're going to do this. this is what, we're going to play very, very narrow in midfield. We're going to bring on Olenga for him. We're going to bring on Tommy Serjak for Tornando. We're going to do this. We're going to be very, very narrow in midfield. And we're going to hope. We're just going to hope that this works for us. Get him going forward. Um, let's play him as a pressing forward. And... This is this is, this is us rolling the dice now. We need two goals behind. We're in danger of getting another thumping from Persebea. And this is, this is what we have. Let's give it a get creative. All right, from the set piece, from the corner. Can we knock one in? It's gone back post. He's all alone. Kayono, and it's cleared. Oh, there almost needed to be something. He had too much time almost. You, you just wonder if there was a better option there for him. Um, let's go attacking. We really have nothing to lose here. Goal difference isn't going to make a difference because they're going to have the head-to-head. -head, so that doesn't really affect us. Let's push forward. Set a J from we need a goal here, don't we? Otherwise, we're we're really getting the hail mary stuff. 
That's a decent looking ball for Wei Yan. He's in here. He's got Kayuno with him. Can he find him? Oh, he's cut back. Oh, he need, it needed to be more direct, more decisive. Dambolin is there, though. Satian picks it up. Still the chance. Still a chance here for us. Olenga, that's not a good pass. That's not a good pass. And I'd go as far as that's a shocking pass. But we are going to get away with it. Cornu's back. He goes long, very direct, but that is no, it's not not what we need. It's not. It needed to be. If you're going to go like that, you've really got to be hitting the target because this is not good. Oh dear! And it's another spanking at the hands of Persevere. And I don't, I don't know how to fix this, guys. I'm sorry. I really, really do not know what to do. Um, it doesn't really matter now, does it? It doesn't really matter. I mean, we haven't played well, and that's the worst thing, you know, if, at least if you play well. Chavez, Olenga, is it offside? It is offside. Uh, at least if you play well and get beaten, then you think maybe, but no, no one showed up. Absolutely no one has showed up. So, is that the manager? Is that the team talk? Is that the tactics? I don't know. Is it just we're playing a better team? Again, I don't. <laughs> Probably. Uh, so, we look, we'll rebuild, we'll go again. It looks... I mean, that's four points. We have a game in hand still, so it could potentially go down to one point again if we win that game in hand. But... Uh, I, they, they were just... They weren't playing well, and I thought maybe we could do it. Maybe we could get something, but it just wasn't to be, was it? That's really disappointing. I mean, it wasn't... It was a relatively even game. It, was a, it wasn't... We weren't that... We just... Uh, I'm, I'm rambling because I'm disappointed, guys, and I don't know. I'm going to get aggressive. I really am annoyed at that. That was not good. It's disappointing because we were just never in the game. We were never in that game whatsoever. Uh, so four points. We have a game in hand. It looks like the game in hand is... Oh, no, it's not against Borneo. It might be against one of these guys. So it's a winnable game in hand, it looks like. But uh, that's just so disappointing. They strike lucky. Maybe that's some of it. I don't know. But anyway, guys, wait right there. I'll play through a couple of games, and then we'll be back for the first leg of our uh, Confederation Cup Interzone semi-final. Okay, welcome back, and it is probably the biggest game of the save so far. We have our semi-final inter-zone inter playoff here against East Bengal. We're off to India. We're in India, hopefully, because the game's about to start. But just to clear up things between uh, the two games there, two games, two wins, which is really good. Uh, Indonesian in the second leg, the Indonesian Cup, you can see <clears throat> we got 3-0 up in the second leg. Uh, Rianto, Septuan, Septiawan, and uh, Serjak with the goals. They got two back. We kind of clocked off after half time with the two goal, three goal lead plus the one off in the first leg. Uh, never in danger of losing it. Just a uh, little bit tighter than we would have liked. Little, gave me a little bit too much credit there. Then we played PSMS in the league and a good solid win here. We got off to a cracking start. Kayona actually broke the club record for quickest goal. I think it was 17 seconds. Uh, then Septien, Zamran, and Olenga uh, added to the lead. Uh, they got one back, got a player sent off. Second half was a bit of a non event, to be honest. Um, it just stayed at the half time score. If we just quickly look at the league table, Post of Bayer. They've done us another favour. They went and dropped points again. So we're back now in the case if we win out, we, we will win the league. So for some reason, Persa Bay just like to smash us and they'll let everybody else draw, draw drop points to them. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but we don't have to worry about it now because we don't have to play them again unless we meet them in the Indonesian Cup, of course. But this is all about East Bengal and Asian football. And let's have a look at the team we're sending out. It's pretty much the strongest team we have available to us. Uh, Boaz not quite fit for this one, so hopefully second leg for him. Uh, Setajaya will start in goal. Randika, Chavez, uh, Lakonu and Dembolina with the back four. Olenga, Redian, Septian in midfield. Tornando and Set, uh, Set Triadi provide the width for Wayan. Hopefully there'll be goals in this team. Of course, being the away leg, this is all about... Look at that stadium. It's packed. This is the biggest team we've, we've ever played in. I'd say biggest, biggest crowd anyway. Um, this is all about away goals. If we can get as many as we can, uh, that would be absolutely sensational. I'm going to say... Um, let's see. The medium give a lot of praise. Let you don't let that pressure on your performance. I like that. Some calm. We have faith. Just try and keep it nice and chilled out in the dressing room before the game. And let's see if we can put in a performance here. Oh, this is huge. I am getting nervous. You just hope we do ourselves justice because we didn't against Persebea. And I would hate to think for both games this episode, we go out in a little bit of a whimper. Uh, you can see we've gone back to our more tried and tested formation. Um, the experiment against Persebea, the 4-4-2, didn't really work, did it? Um, that's a decent effort from distance, but we've blocked that. Can we launch counter-attack? Uh, I've gone with Wayan instead of Kayono up front. I just think he's a better finisher. 
Um, Kayono's scoring goals, but he's missing a lot of chances as well, which I think he probably has always done. Um, oh, it's a decent tackle from Tornando. Always worry where, don't you? The tackle's back towards goal like that. The, the, even if you win the ball, it just plays in a through ball for an opponent. Can we win that one? We can. Nicely done. We're under a little bit of pressure here, though. We're not able to get out. Um, the home team is starting very strong. I'm not quite sure what to make of East Bengal. Um... Yeah, have the very limited. Uh, we, we have the very limited ability to scout. That's a good ball for Wayan. He's in here. Come on, Wayan. Go on, son. They're closing him down. Oh, the decent save from the keeper. Now we have the corner, and we are decent though. Chavez hasn't quite had the same record that Veneno had from uh, scoring from corners. So, it'd be a good time to start. Let's go on there for the corner down. Oh, Tornando, that was well blocked, wasn't it? That was well blocked. Uh, yeah, Lukonu has a good record from corners, and uh, Veneno is just lethal, but yeah, Chavez hasn't quite got onto that level yet, that looks like it's going wide, it is. Won the header there, Chavez, good old Leo, but just couldn't quite get the shot on target. Uh, let's give it a get creative here, and the highlight begins, Now, hopefully we'll win this ball back, they've gone short with it. Uh, they've gone long, and that's easy for Lacornu. He's headed that nicely out, hasn't he, for Tornando. Now, what can Tornando do? Can he get across into the box? Look at that. We've got so many men forward. He's going to get a second chance at this. Comes in, second chance. Down for Wayne! Yeah! That's huge. That's the first goal. That's the away goal. And are we going to go on a bit of a run here now? Six minutes in. That's his tenth of the season for Wayne. That equals Redian, and I think... Kayona, he, the Kayona might have got 11, might have been his 11th goal, that one that he scored in the last game in the league. Um, but looking at our league goals, we're actually spreading them around quite evenly because uh, Tornando has eight, Septian has a few, two of our centre-backs have five. We're really spreading them around, which is which is good. We're not relying on one player. That's not even close to offside. Um, Setiari did quite well there as well, didn't he, to get that header down. And, ooh, and the highlight continues. Come on, boys. Can we get on to this one? Lecornu! Oh, it's two! It's two in two minutes almost. And Lecornu, sixth of the season. There's a couple of penalties in there as well, I think. But that is what we like to see. Two away goals, which are absolutely massive, aren't they? The away goals could prove the difference here. Um, I'm interested. To see. It's a good leap, isn't it? Cracking header back towards goal. Uh, I'm interested to see here what um, what the crowd is, and I'm not sure if we get a share if it's like the FA Cup in England where you get a share of the of the uh, gate. But if we do, it looks like a massive, massive crowd. I wouldn't, I yeah, could uh, really do with the cash. Septian and Rendika there back to Wayan. This is nice play, isn't it? Where has this come from? This was not what we were seeing against Persebaya, is it? Uh, Dambolina, can he get a ball in? He gets a second crack at that. Oh, Redian! Oh, he's missed. Oh, we've seen him scoring those all season. That's a really, really bad miss. All right, come on. Let's forget that. Let's forget that and continue. Redian, that's a decent-looking ball, but can't quite find the man. Olengas picked that up. This time, Setiadi has it. That's not a good pass again. We need to concentrate here. Can we give them a concentrate shout? They've gone long early. We've got a man there. We should get their first no. We're going to hold him up, though, which is fine. We just need to get the men in the middle. We haven't done that, and we've paid the price. That needs to be a concentrate. We've maybe got a little bit carried away there, haven't we? 2-0 up, and, yeah, got a little bit carried away. A couple of poor passes. You do wonder if, is that Lakornu? Yeah, if he could have got and won that ball, he might have risked the penalty. And we just got joined into the ball, didn't we? Everyone got sucked into the ball. Midfield couldn't get back quick enough, and that's what happens. Um, still the lead, still the two away goals, though. That's all, the all-important. Way in with a set piece here. Way in! Oh, that's a little bit special from a very acute angle. No space at all, right on the edge of the box to get that ball up and over the wall. And somehow he's managed to do it. And that's 11 now for Way in as well. Let's have another look at this. This is really, really special. How has he done that? I mean, keeping not the best... But cartwheeled all around, that was a little bit special. That's three away goals now. We've got our two-goal lead back. Um, I'll give them another concentrate here. Just just because. Absolute goal fest early on. I don't hate that away from home. I don't like goal fests at home because of away goals. But if you're playing away from home, open games can be good. rendika has gone early. Can weigh in, pounce on that. He has a bit of a defensive howl. Away in for the hat trick. Oh, he just saved it. Still plenty of time for him to get a hat-trick, of course. 
but you'd like to just smash their spirits down early and get this tie over and done with nice and early here. Another good ball into the box. Tethered away, though. Septien will retrieve. I think he will retrieve. There we go. Back into the mixer. Lacornu heads it down. At what's happened there offside? Brief, brief hopes of a penalty there, but not to be. Highlights continue. This is a very highlight-heavy game, isn't it? And no, just kidding. Um, so the concentrate shot. I'm not worried necessarily that it's overwhelmed them because they need to, need to be uh, told to concentrate, I think. There's another good ball in there. Back post, Setiani. That's his first for the club, is it? I think it's his third goal for the season. I think it's his first for us. The great cross from Dan Molina is oh, not going to tell us. I think that... Oh, no, he did get one already, didn't he? got a headed goal, cracking headed goal. So it's his second for the club. Look at that ball from Dan Molina. That is absolute class and a good finish as well, wasn't it? That is 4-1 on the road. And we are looking really good now to progress into that interzone final. Uh, I think it's a North Korean club and I don't know who the other one is. Septian. Oh, that wasn't the worst shot either, was it? Was uh, Al Hull, I think, or uh, 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 I can't pronounce it. It'll come up at half time here anyway, we'll see. I want to say it's a used back club, it probably is, um, but I don't know for sure. There's Chavez chipping in with five. This is an absolute demolition now. This is stop it, boys. Stop the fight, referee. They're dead. They're just, they're not coming back from this. 5 1 on the road. Um, this will, of course, mean that we can start to rest players for the second leg. Anybody on a booking, we can protect them a little bit as well. Um, someone like Septien, who was a booking away from a suspension. Excellent time to pick up that second booking here, Septien. Um, I don't think we're going to need you in the second leg. There's no real way. I mean, you, sh you shouldn't really be able to do it anyway because it's technically match fixing and cheating. But just tell Septien, you know, just go and go and get yourself a nice booking or something here. Just bring down somebody needlessly in midfield. Um, they are absolutely spent, aren't they? We haven't actually dominated the game as much as you would think. I'm going to say, uh, passionately show the pundits they're right to back you up. That hasn't really worked, if we're honest with ourselves. <laughs> they could have gone a lot better. Uh, impressed with the defending. We'll just try and bring this back where we can. It's not happening. Not the best team talk I've ever given. Um, hopefully at 5-1 it won't matter. But I was just kind of hoping they'd kick on a little bit. But <clears throat> that obviously hasn't worked. It did work in my Aston Villa save, if you're following that. I've used that a couple of times, and it, it, I think with Arsenal as well, and that, that has really helped them kick on in the second half. Um, we'll give them some praise. We're playing absolutely sensationally. Look at those match ratings. Um, and we can start to think about resting a few players here. Who do we have on the bench? Um, I'm wondering... Septian's looking tied. We might take him off. We'll bring Bakhti on. It's a little bit disappointing we couldn't get him as that second booking. Uh, we do have a league game coming up in a few days here. So, ideally... And then we have the uh, two Indonesian Cup games back-to-back. -back. Now, Indonesian Cup, I'd love to go back and win it again. We've got to prioritise this tournament, though, if for no other reason than just the money involved. So, we are going to be not playing any first any of this team, basically, in, in that Indonesian Cup. We might give Boas a run-out for match fitness... Um, we might play Kayono too, actually. I think this formation is definitely working better for us. So we, if we look at Wei An and Boaz as our sort of first choice uh, strikers, then it's a good opportunity to give Kayono first team football, keep him happy um, before he realizes that he's not first choice anymore. Um, and yeah, we'll kind of just sort of see how we go from there. But I'd really like to try and keep it to 5-1 if I can. Don't want to give them any sort of hope for the second leg. Good header from Kayono. Not Kayono, that was uh, Lakonu, wasn't it? And there's that other goal coming back in. Need to give them a concentrate. Just, we have a bit of a habit of doing this. Um, and some of it's got to come down to my team talks, which is why I've, I've been trying different things. But solid lead at half time and not really seeing out the job in the second half. Really clocking off. We did it against, um, what was that? The team in the Indonesian Cup where we let two goals in the second half. We didn't kick on against uh, PSMS in the last game. All right, so the concentrate has resulted in a corner, I'd like to think, and it is just gone straight through. Tornando retrieves that. Can he get a ball in? Can we keep the ball? That's a little bit sloppy. It's a little bit sloppy. We're going to have to give it a demand more shout here, I think, because they get back to 5-2. It starts to get 
a little bit interesting in the second leg. We don't want it interesting in the second leg. We want it boring. We want it boring, and we want it just a nice, comfortable win for us. Uh, we'll give the, a demand more here when we can. And... There we go. Uh, there will, of course, be a goals of the month after this as well. There's uh, been an absolutely mega month of August. It's just never-ending fixtures, but... We've got a couple of goals to look back on that haven't featured on the channel. So we'll show those after this game. So make sure you stick around for that. If you have enjoyed in this too, uh, please do hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Helps people find the channel. And I cannot tell you how grateful I am for that. Is that a red card? No, it's not. Uh, this is the end of the game. Can we do a sneaky six before the whistle? Tornando. No, it's a good tackle. Appealing for the penalty there, Tornando. But that's it. Well, we would have taken 5-2 before kickoff. It's a little bit disappointing the second half didn't quite play out as we would have liked. But we got the job done, didn't we? We really got the job done. Um, I'm going to say good performance. Don't let it go to your heads. And on we go. So there we go. It looks like it's the North Korean team. They've got a healthy lead. Now, where is this Al Hull from? They are from General Info. I think it should show it there. Should it Turkmenistan. Um so there we go. So it looks as though it will be April 25, the North Korean team, in our final, the zone final or inter zone final or whatever it is. Um, but that was really, really good, wasn't it? But guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching as I try and get to schedule desperately. There we go. Uh, if you have said, you have enjoyed that, thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. We'll be back uh, tomorrow for the second leg and post a rank in the league. Um, that's going to be, yeah, I mean, we should we should get through from that, shouldn't we? But you just never know. We have a habit of throwing away leads. And if we go back to this sort of form up here, we're well, well, truly capable of conceding enough goals. But we have kind of tightened things up. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we'll get through to the final, guys. But until tomorrow, I've been Aussie Bond. Thank you so much for watching. And here are our goals of the month from this mega, mega month of, of August. Take care.